Hello, everybody. It is Badger Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineer ship review. Been doing a lot of these lately because I got some other projects that are going on right now. Uh, but uh, today I've got a really good one for you guys. Uh, I know I've been doing a lot of ship reviews, but this this is a pretty cool ship review because I usually try to find something really cool and really unique on the workshop to show you guys. And today we've got a pretty good one. Uh, as y'all probably are wonder, wondering and noticing, this looks like it came out of Star Trek, and it is. It is the Aquarius, and it comes from Star Trek Online. Now, I'm not sure, I'm not too familiar with Star Trek Online lore, but this is uh, apparently a ship. It's a USS Aquarius. Its author is Zero CMF or Zeo CMF requires decorative blocks 2 requires wasteland DLC sparks of the future DLC warfare 2 heavy industry and warfare 1 uh, it is a light escort so it, it is actually a ship it's actually a ship ship within the Star Wars online I suppose or Star, not Star Wars Star Trek online uh, and has a pretty unique feature uh, it does come with plenty of cargo room it has a retractable nacelles in Atmo flight for better gyro control and not the summon clang. Give this a like real quick and let's check this thing out. So, looking at this ship, uh, it's very well made. The blocks have been put on, have been uh, set on this perfectly. It gives it kind of an artificial light within the nacelles. This is something that I've got to figure out how to do at some point in time. But with the light and everything, most of your engines are internalized. So the ship, you don't have to worry about you know any engine showing. This has a kind of a double-edged sword in that if your engines are internalized, you have to have a way to access those engines for repairs and uh, don't know how to access them. <laughs> but there's not a whole lot I can really say about the outside other than this is just a beautifully shaped ship. And it's it's designed to sh to fit a certain shape, and that's how it operates. Now it does have a single auto cannon turret on top, and about five forward facing auto cannons, one in the bottom, and four in the top. I believe that is all the weaponry we're going to find on this. Yeah, we've got some thrusters on the bottom, and I believe we can possibly see some internalized thrusters going side to side. But I am unable to see any thrusters move around. Okay, yeah, we've got some thrusters here. So, what's what's the interesting thing about this ship? So, going over here, you can see the front of it. Um, very good cockpit design. But let's go inside here because this is where things get really interesting with this ship. So we go in here, and there's no small block gravity block, which I really wish there was. But now we've got this completely set up. I'm going to have to do this with the jetpack on. <laughs> because uh, you can drop down. But the moment I, I go somewhere, we could end up twisting the character around a bit. So we're not we're not going to do that. We're going to just float around. We do have what looks like the warp core area. That's where your survival kit is. Lots of scripts here in this vessel also. Where you will see a lot of Star Trek panels and stuff from the next generation onward. Uh, these are the kind of things you'll be noticing. We've got a nice little weapons rack here for, I don't know, phasers, whatever you want to bring in. Good looking bridge. I mean, just the design and the use of the screens and transparent blocks are amazing. We've got a look at our ship right here. We can actually see it. Everything, it just looks like it should be long inside of a an episode of Star Trek. Just a little bit blockier. Now, we've got some other options here. I can push a button there, and I think we got a button here which depressurizes the room, and I believe this button also pressurizes it as well. We're going to head on to the back here. If I can get back there, I may have to try and walk. Okay. And back here, we've got four seats, a small air vent. I believe this is an oxygen tank. I believe. Yeah, it's... Yeah, that's an oxygen tank. But two more air vents out of that. And a cryopod here. Also more screens to make it just have that feel of a Star Trek-like ship. Now, the fun part about this 
is what this ship can do. And this is just this is just fun. Let me flip this thing here. And we're going to rotate it. It doesn't move or rotate very fast for an escort, at least not to my liking. But it, it will turn and move. So let's pop this open here, take a look at some of the stuff we got. Number one, we have a forward camera. So this is fun. Number two, fires the guns. Number three, turns off your hydrogen thrusters. Number four, turns off your ions. Number five, turns off your... At most, number six turns off your dorsal, I believe that's what's called, dorsal auto cannon. Number seven does uh, lock or unlock. Number eight is your landing pads. And number nine is also landing pads, I believe. Let's just take a look here and see what that says. Landing mag play, oh, well, it's the same thing. Now this is where things get interesting. <laughs> Because number four, I don't, I don't know what number four does. Okay, number four apparently turns off the lights. Um, let's see. We've got, also got a remote control block here. And what does this four do? Seems to be affecting lights as well. Uh, that's in like the third panel. But this, this is where things get interesting. I, and I want to, I want to pull this back here so you guys can watch this thing in action. Pressing number one. Heck that out. Now, it doesn't help the maneuverability or anything. It basically just locks this in place for atmospheric flight, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, I, I don't understand the, the atmospheric, how it will keep it from happening, but it, it is just a cool feature. I love it. Um, you also have a onboard hydrogen engine to build everything up, remote control block, lights, uh, projector, parachute... All the, all the essentials pretty much for what you need for a ship that goes out. You also got a uh, gyroscopic system here, which determines how much you actually get to use. I wonder what that does. That seems to have very little effect on the entire ship's movement at all. So we'll just jack that back up. But yeah, uh, just a, a very cool little feature here. You can see it just... Okay, we had a little bit... Uh, for a second there, I thought we had a glitch. I thought we had a clang there for a minute, and this was going to, like, freak out. But no, it, it didn't. It just... Uh, well, apparently, I had, like, a skip in the game. But yeah, this come, these nacelles come in. They lock into place. And uh, they're it's actually a pretty cool ship, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's got all the details you would want. has that Federation kind of look to it. And is just... Basically, you could run this as a small block uh, big ship or a bigature, I guess is what you could call it. You know, like a miniature big ship. So, yeah, that's the Aquarius for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to check this out. I'll have a link to it in the description. Uh, you guys can check out this transforming ship here. Which just... I, I can't get over that opening those nacelles up and, and pulling it all out it just seems to look so cool anyway folks hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always this badger wild saying stay safe stay frosty and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye for now